T-minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour with the first American element of the International Space Station uniting our efforts in space to achieve our common goals. Roll program. Houston's now controlling. Endeavour's rolling on a course heading northeast from the Kennedy Space Center toward a 240 mile high rendezvous with the Zarya control module. traveling 575 miles per hour, altitude three miles, one and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three engines on board now throttled down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass the, the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure, also uh, called Max-Q. on Endeavour now back at full throttle. Endeavour, you're going throttle up. Roger, we're going throttle. Altitude now 11 miles. Endeavour speed 1,500 miles per hour. Eight miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since liftoff, Endeavour's already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Altitude now 19 miles, speed 2,400 miles per hour, flight controller standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets coming up in about 10 seconds.
uh, cuts off and uh, turn it back over to the boss for the rest of the uh, crew choice. I'd just once again like to uh, congratulate all the uh, Goddard folks, all the uh, SAC, SAC A folks, uh, and the people of Argentina for the uh, first successful deploy of Argentinian satellite. Sat is the uh, second satellite to release by Endeavour in as many days. Uh, the first satellite, an Argentine scientific satellite, already being tracked by Argentine spaceflight controllers, operating well, uh, deemed a very healthy beginning its experiment operations. This satellite, an Air Force science satellite that will study composite materials for spacecraft construction and uh, new technologies, including a solar cell that uses the sun's heat rather than its light to generate electricity. Now about 20 seconds from the opening of the release window for Mighty Sat. Guidance Navigation and Control Officer reports he sees the shuttle's jets uh, turned off, that uh, preparatory to the release. And now uh, Mighty Sat released from Endeavour. As Endeavour uh, flies 245 miles above the islands of Indonesia. Houston Endeavour, we have a successful deploy of Mighty Sat on time. Our congratulations to the Mighty Sat team at Kur Kurland Air Force Base, the Phillips Lab, and Goddard Space Flight Center, and the United States Air Force. Endeavour Houston, we copy. Thank you very much. We saw a really neat deploy down here. Mighty and there we have a nice view of Mighty Set. Roger, Houston. Step 7 is uh, complete. We're out of the procedure. We copy and concur. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, uh, Mighty Sat's an Air Force science satellite that it studies uh, the use of composite materials for spacecraft construction. Also, a new type of solar cell that uh, uses the sun's heat rather than its light to generate electricity. Also, a uh, has uh, studies of materials processing equipment uh, for satellites on board, uh, handling device specifically that uh, could process semiconductor materials in orbit. Mighty Sat, uh, an Air Force satellite uh, designed by uh, Phillips Laboratories. Touchdown for Endeavour. One flawless mission completed and a new era in space exploration just begun. Nose gear touchdown.
use it on, on Muslims. I think it's the spirit of togetherness here that's the most important thing. The feeling just 